We're here tonight to kick off Samsung's 17th annual charity gala. It's all about empowering youth to really make an impact on their lives as well as their communities. And it's gonna be a great evening, so why don't we take a look and meet somebody backstage, a special guest. Great to have you. Thank, Thank you, you for so being much. here. I Thank appreciate you. the opportunity. Uh, this is a great, uh, great night and a great cause. Oh, absolutely. You started SLAM. Yes. A public charter with a focus, I understand, on sports leadership and management. Correct. And so what is it um, that you think the needs are of kids, and how does SLAM help that? We're expanding, we're growing, and the great thing is, is that the sixth year, we graduated at 100%. And why is it so important to me? Because when you get a young mind, and it's a sponge, and you teach it that it could do anything that it could possibly want in the world, especially coming from somebody that came from all kinds of obstacles, it, to me, it's something that not only is priceless to us, but for them, I can't wait 10 to 15 years from now to see what they're going to do with it. So you came from humble beginnings. What and who were the inspirations for you as a, uh, as a youngster? Well, my, my biggest inspiration would be my mom, okay? My mom is my, my superhero. She's the one that, that taught me how to think and taught me that it's chess, not checkers. On the entertainment side of things, it's an array of people. It goes from Celia Cruz to Willie Chirino to Two Live Crew to Nas, Snoop, Big, Pac. And when you have that array of music all put together, it's a melting pot, it's a paella. <laughs> Talk about kids. Uh, what do you see that you think they need in mentors or what qualities that you think that um, they would benefit by most? The biggest thing that kids got to understand that life is not about instant gratification. They're going to have to understand that, like when people tell me, oh, you know, people call me Chico. Say, hey, Chico, you got so lucky. Or you're so lucky. And I say, that's funny, man, because the harder I work, the luckier I get. And I always say this every time, which is there is uh, no losing, only learning, no failure, only opportunities, and no problems, just solutions. It's so interesting to say that. My dad always told me that, you know, there may be smarter and more talented people out there, but you can out-hustle them. That's awesome. a choice. And it's something I remember, and it very, sound, sounds very much with Absolutely the truth. Yeah. Absolutely. The truth. So let's let's have a little fun if we can. Maybe a little lightning round yeah, yeah. for a, a few seconds. If Pitbull would look yeah. back at 15-year-old Armando, what would he tell him about a few things? I'll I'll reel off. You okay with this? Okay. Yeah. Um, playing sports in school. Basketball was my escape. Which through sports, a 15-year-old Armando, what did it teach me? Discipline. It taught me teamwork. It taught me the harder I work, the better I can get. It taught me what it is to be an ac accountable teammate. Meaning. It, even if I get it wrong or you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. It's the team at the end of the day. It's all for the better of the team. Social media. So the biggest advice that I could give to a kid at 15 years old is utilize technology. Don't let technology use you. And remember that it's two words. They say followers and likes. No. Armando, at 15, you're a leader and you're unique. Great. Always remember that. Bullying. So if I was talking to a 15-year-old Armando about bullying, I would find ways to combat it, not let it victimize me or make me weaker. Because when you step into the real world, the real world's not here to give you a handout. The real world's not here to give you its hand. The real world is actually here to, the minute that you think you have it, slap you, pop. No, nah, you ain't got it. Once you think you got the slap, boom, punch him. No, you ain't got it. And once you think you got that, and you get knocked down, and you go to get back up, it kicks you. But once you learn from the slap, the punch and the kick, that's what starts to make life um, not only challenging, but exciting. Last one, finding your passion. What would you tell them? Finding your passion is this gut instinct that I could never explain, to be honest with you. It's something you see, it's something that you do, it's something that you hear, and you just go, oh man, you fall in love with it instantly. That is, to me, truly love at first sight. So passion to me is something that just, it, it hits you like a lightning bolt. What would you think 15-year-old Armando would say if you told him in 10 years, you're going to be known as Mr. Worldwide? <laughs> what would he say? He would say, bro, tú estás loco. And that means, right, man, my friend, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I tell you, Samsung is thrilled to be able to help contribute to oh, what no, you're doing you with SLAM. It's a fabulous program, Appreciate and we're thrilled that you're here with us. No, thank you for having us, and I'm glad that somehow, some way, we can combine forces to change the lives of those who really need it.
So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.